How's it going everyone? My name is Sunwolf and today I'm bringing you another reading with Sunwolf and just another poem I wrote and this one's called Meant to Be. I once heard if it's meant to be, then it's meant to be. I'm here hoping that it'll come to me, but I know that's no excuse to ever get lazy. Cause if it's not meant to be, I'm gonna make it be, through hard work and positivity. I will leave a good mark on my family's legacy. One way or another, I will make history. I won't let the current lack of success get to me, cause I'm gonna make it undoubtedly. It may be hard, it may take some time, but nothing worth having ever comes easily. I'm gonna type and write till my ink runs out, but then I'll prick my finger and write my life out. Looks don't matter, cause my words are what this is about. Dark red and smudged, it's okay, but now I'm a little lightheaded anyway. The point is, nothing's gonna stop my passion, and I won't stop writing in any kind of fashion. So in ink, lead, or blood, I won't stop even if I'm in the great flood. If it's meant to be, then it's meant to be. If not, I'm going to make it be. Because I love these words, they're just so lovely. They keep me happy, and that's what's important to me. So that one was called Meant to Be. Uh, as you can probably figure out, it's about me and my writing and YouTube and how I want to take off and somehow be my career. Because in my opinion, if that would happen, then I essentially made it. I'll be doing what I love and what I'm passionate about. So, to me, that's, <laughs> I mean, that's basically living the dream. If I could live comfortably doing things that I love and I wake up happy to do every day, then that, that's, that's great, that's phenomenal in my opinion, because that doesn't happen to everyone, no one, not everyone has that blessing. So if that were something that happened to me, awesome. But it's also saying how like, if people say, well if it's meant to be, then it's going to happen. You never know if it's meant to be until it actually happens. So if it doesn't happen, then I guess it wasn't meant to be. But in that same instance, whether it is or isn't, I'm still going to work towards it and try to get it anyway. Because there's no point in just laying around like, oh, it's meant to be, so I'll just sit back, relax. No, you put your hard work into it and you make it happen whether it was meant to be or not. Because if you love something that much, then you pursue it, you work for it, you earn it. That's that's how I see it. And I just, I find it pretty much foolish or silly to either just to wait for it to happen or just not to do something you're passionate about. Because if that's what makes you happy, why would you ever stop? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> I mean, I know maybe I have a luxury where I have the time to make these videos or to write poetry while others don't, but I mean, even family has told me this, if it's something you're passionate about, you make time for it. So I don't see why anyone can't chase their dream, in a sense. I don't know, these are just my two cents, it's, I don't know. To me, it makes sense to not stop what you love doing. Just to try harder at it, or do better at it, or make it something bigger than you ever realized. Because what you're passionate about could not only affect you, but several others. And like me, my poetry, hey, this poem, maybe it convinced someone to be like, you know what, I want to be this thing. And I wasn't really trying too hard at it, but now I'm gonna try super hard at it, I'm gonna make it happen, then that's great. Then, you know, I that's a job well done in my book. If any of my poetry could, you know, spread some positivity or uh, motivate someone to go do something or better themselves, then that's amazing. Even if it's only one person ever, then my job is done. Ah, I, I feel like I'm rambling on way too long now. But it's just, I love writing, you know, man, <laughs> like, it's just something that is incredible to me, and uh, some poems I've sent to other people, they're like, wow, this really makes me rethink about this, that, and the other thing, or whatever, or they've told me, like, hey, after you sent me this, I went and tried to be cool with my family now, or this, that, and the other thing, and 
to me knowing that, like, knowing something I created can that can create emotions or evoke motivation for someone else to do something is amazing. That's what to me makes this, you know, just a little poem, this little bit of writing incredible that it can have so much more power than I could ever think. Maybe I wrote it just to cheer someone up. Well, not only did it cheer someone up, but it made them want to resolve a problem they've had with so-and-so. I would have never seen that coming. And the fact that poetry, YouTube, I mean, you, you go to any major YouTuber or any YouTuber that, you know, makes videos and you almost always find a comment that's like, wow, like this video made my day. It, you know, I, I saw this video when I need it most. Thank you. And like, hey, they were just making a silly video or they're just playing a video game or doing a stupid joke. But it meant so much more to someone else. And to me, that's what I love about YouTube, about writing, about this platform. That it's so much more than we think it really is. Anyway, that's when we end this video. Because um, I feel like I was getting rambly. And I probably went way off topic to what my poem was about. But uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you all enjoyed the poem. Uh, please feel free to leave any feedback, comments, tell me what you think about it. And hit that subscribe button, especially if you want to see more poetry or any other of my probably silly video game goofy stuff. <laughs> anyway, until next time. Later.